looking at the upcoming July 20th session, you can see I have the economic calendar in front of you. And uh, really, at this point in time, not much going on on Monday. Uh, Tuesday, as a matter of fact, uh, is a little bit quiet. We do have a lot coming of Australia with the RBA meeting minutes. That, of course, could move the Australian dollar. Uh, but beyond that, really, Tuesday is fairly quiet as well. This is a pretty quiet week for the most part until we get to Wednesday. We have the uh, basically the meeting minutes, the vote count out of the United Kingdom as to what the uh, interest rate uh, announcement was comprised of as far as votes on change, hike, cut, etc. Uh, we do have inflation report hearings out of the UK that can move the footsie in the pound itself and uh, as a result we think that uh, Wednesday will definitely be very uh, focused on the United Kingdom. We don't have much. Uh, we have uh, uh, crude oil uh, markets, uh, the uh, stock exchange coming out of the United States Later that day, that could move, obviously, the crude oil markets, but beyond that, really not a whole lot. Uh, late in the day, we have an interest rate decision and a monetary policy statement out of New Zealand. Uh, unless they specifically say something about the world economy, probably will be a non-event. Looking at the Thursday session, uh, we really don't have much beyond retail sales out of Canada. Uh, initial jobless claims out of uh, the United States. We do see later, though, um, in the week on Friday, we have the HSBC Manufacturing PMI number, which, of course, can move the markets in general. In other words, uh, stocks will go up and down due to what the Chinese are doing because it's a barometer on the global outlook. Uh, looking uh, a little later in the session, we have uh, PMI composite out of Germany could move the DAX manufacturing PMI as well. And uh, later on the session on Friday, we have durable goods, and that is most certainly a U.S. stock type of situation. Looking at the euro dollar, you can see that we have had a fairly negative week, and it looks like we're going to reach back towards the lows. Um, the euro just simply cannot pick up, even though we got the Greek debt solution, supposedly. Looks like the markets don't necessarily believe that, so it looks like we're going to go a little bit lower gold markets finally are breaking down and it looks like the market's probably going to head down to the 1100 level given enough time uh, really not a whole lot in the way of positivity that we see in this market so we're just buying puts on short-term rallies and finally the S&P 500 as you can see is testing the highs at the end of the week looks like we're going higher a break of a fresh new high is a call buying opportunity it's really that simple with that we've taken a look at the upcoming July 20th trading week.